This is a patient who came with some right-sided abdominal pain with fevers, and we got a CT scan with intravenous contrast to evaluate this. As we scroll down, we focus around the region of the liver. We can see uh, several abnormalities. Uh, specifically, there are all these thick-rimmed collections that are seen in the perihepatic space. Some of these contain gas. There's a lot of inflammatory change as well. You can see some collections more inferiorly, and uh, all these foci have gas. And so that in and of itself is uh, compatible with an abscess. And so what's causing these abscesses? Difficult to say at first, but then you start to notice that there's a little tiny calcification associated with one of these collections and uh, adjacent to the liver. You scroll more inferiorly, there's some numerous calcifications that are lining uh, portions of that inferior aspect of the liver. Several more calcifications seen a little bit more anteriorly, and you see a lot more calcifications uh, even anterior to that. And so when you see these calcifications in the right side of the abdomen associated with these abscesses, you got to think about abscesses associated with dropped gallstones. This patient's gallbladder is missing, so this was taken out. You can see cholecystectomy clips, and so this is indeed what this is. This is what it turned out to be. And if you look back on a, this patient uh, from several years back, when uh, the patient was more immediate post cholecystectomy, you can see that there's numerous dropped gallstones in the gallbladder fossa. But again more dropped gallstones seen more inferiorly. So uh, numerous dropped gallstones in this instance, and over time, these resulted in these abscesses, which uh, are causing this patient to have fever and right upper quadrant pain.